My name is Caitlin Naples. I graduated from Southern in 2010 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Journalism and a Cognate in Media Studies. Currently, I work for the University of New Haven. I'm the Internal Communications Coordinator, so my responsibility is to get everything that needs to go out to the student population as well as staff and faculty. Any kind of details about announcements happening, happening on campus, events, things like that goes out. I'm responsible for getting out to them, um, whether it's in the form of an e-newsletter that gets distributed weekly um, or in our internal portal. We have um, announcement, an announcement section, a calendar, things like that. So I'm responsible for their internal portal as well as our newsletters that get sent out each week. Before the job that I have right now, I worked at Channel 3, and while I loved that job, I was there for almost eight years, there was nowhere else for me to really go, so I looked into the communications and marketing in industry, and the job at UNH came up, so I applied. I met with my supervisor that I have right now, um, and I ended up getting the position. Um, what I really like about it now is, while I'm not in the everyday, day-to-day -day news industry anymore, um, I am able to use my creativity more, which is great. I'm still writing, and it's a little bit more colorful. When I was at Southern, I went to school for journalism and I got involved in the student newspaper, Southern News, and that definitely prepared me for my career in journalism. Um, right out of college, I worked at a weekly newspaper in Bristol and I spent about four years there um, and it was a wonderful experience and I took everything that I learned working at Southern News, being a reporter and a news editor, and took that into the real world and working at a real newspaper and then eventually working at Channel 3. I chose to study journalism because I loved the idea of having a career where every day is going to be different. It's not the same mundane thing over and over again. Every day you never know what's going to happen. It's always something different. It's always changing. And you, while there are still bad stories that happen most of the time, there are some good and you, kind of, you turn, end up helping someone along the way. Advice that I would give to journalism students right now is to have thick skin and to not take criticism too personally. Unfortunately, the news industry and journalism are underappreciated and it's unfortunately also seen as a thankless job. Um, but also on the flip side, there are a lot of good stories to share and when you do share those stories, you meet those great people and you're doing them a service. And once those great stories are told, afterwards, once you see it, it all comes full circle and you have that gratification that you did help somebody. Even though a lot of times what we see on TV or what we read in the newspaper is bad, there are really good stories and they need to be told and you could be the person that tells them.